Let's take a look at a new concept called self-assignment. And it's how variables can keep track of the data within them. Taking a look at this mini program here, what do you think it's going to print in the output console? So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to think this over. It's pretty easy, but I wanna use this to uh, show what self-assignment is. I'm gonna click run here and it's gonna print out 13. So we have our variable team wins and it's equal to 12. And then we're gonna update the variable team wins with itself plus one and it's gonna print out the current value of the variable, which is 13. So this is pretty much self-assignment. Self-assignment is when you set a variable to be equal to its own value. So why is this important? Well, when we self-assign variables, we can increase or decrease its value later on in the code. By doing this, we can keep track of changes over time. Let's take a look at this program. Pretend this is a fantasy football app that continues to update the receiver's receiving yards throughout the year. So let's say the receiver starts at 155. We add 75 to that value and it stores that in the new variable. And the next line is going to add another 110 yards for the next game. It's going to store that in the variable. And then in the third game, he's going to add 49 yards. So if I go ahead and I'm going to save this and then print it, it should add all of these values up. And now the new variable of receiving yards is equal to 389. So that's the power of self-assignment we can keep track of data changes over time and store it in the original variable. Self-assignment isn't just for numbers, it can also be for strings as well. So take a look at this program. We start with the writer variable and it's equal to a string. And now we update and add strings to that variable. And now when I uh, save this program and I run it, it's gonna print the entire string added together. Start with writer's name colon and then a space here. And then we self-assigned writer and updated its value to include Larry. And then we updated again to include David and we get writer's name Larry David. Time for your first little test. Here's a program that keeps track of speeding tickets for particular drivers. Now, what is it going to print in the output console when I print speeding tickets? And pause the video now if you need to think a bit. So I'm gonna hit run here and it's gonna print five. Why is that? So the original speeding tickets variable is two. Then we have another variable called new ticket is equal to one. So in each line here, I am adding one to the ticket. So that's one, two, three, three plus two equals five. Here's another little program. What is it going to print in the output console? So I'll give you a few seconds. And if you guessed all of these strings added together, you are correct. Uh, the original variable is my favorite courses are uh, a string. And now we're going to self-assign and add the value programming. And then we're going to add science and then add math to the original variable. So add it all together. You get my favorite courses are programming, science, and math. One more thing I want to show you guys before we get to the quiz. So there's a quicker way to write what we were writing before. Uh, and that's if we wanted to add some data to the original variable. So by using the plus equals operator, we don't have to write out. Now I'm gonna show you what this, this line is equal to. This line is exactly equal to adding the original variable plus 15. So this is a little shortcut here and we can also do it with negative. Now I'll show you quickly what it looks like if I add uh, use this operator. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run the program. We should get 165. And uh, this also works with the minus equals operator. It's the same thing as writing score equals score minus 15. So if I save this, uh, we should get 135 in the output console. And there we go.
All right, it's quiz time. Question number one, why is self-assignment an important concept to learn? It lets us compare data and variables to lists. It lets us keep track of data that changes over time. And the answer is B, it lets us keep track of data that changes over time. Question number two, how do we self-assign a variable? A, by using the equal sign, or B, by using the plus sign? And it's A, we use the equal sign, as in the example last time, score equals score. We're self-assigning the variable and then adding a value to it. So the answer is A. Question number three, numbers are the only value type we can self-assign and then track. A, true or B, false? Now the answer is B, false. I also showed the example of doing this with strings. So numbers are not the only value type that we can self-assign. And the final question, number four, which operators do we use to add a number to a variable's value? Is it A plus equals or B equals equals? And as shown in the last example, we can shortcut the code by just using the plus equals operator. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next lesson.